As Hayes County continues to grow, so do the number of roads in that area. And now drivers have a new route in East San Marcos, providing an alternative to the ever popular I-35. <laughs> okay, and Sarah Alshea has reaction from people in that area, as well as plans the county has to create more routes like this. If there's an accident pops up, this whole thing becomes a parking lot. Lance Stewart is the owner of RV Land in Kyle, right off of I-35. Stewart says the area changed a lot in the 12 years since he first set up shop. When I bought the property, we were a little uh, speck of dirt on the south side of town, and now there's housing developments all around us. While the growth helps with the business, Stewart says the area needs better road infrastructure to keep up, especially with how congested I-35 can get. People start cutting through the grass, cutting through the median, and, and coming down on the frontage road. Luckily, there's a new road meant to provide drivers with some relief. FM 110, part of the East San Marcos Loop, begins slightly east of Interstate 35 and Yarrington Road and ends at SH 80. And I-35, as we all know, is all too often a parking lot. Creating these alternate routes will help us with the movement of people and products. His County Judge Ruben Becerra says this road is meant to be an alternative route to I-35, something he thinks can help first responders. When they are unable to move because of traffic, because of the congestion, or because of an accident, these alternate routes are really a wonderful source for them. Ultimately, Stewart hopes to see more infrastructure like this in the future. The new apartment complexes, all the new retail locations, People have to be able to get to and from those locations. Sarah Alshah, KXAN News. And Judge Becerra says the county is considering a road bond for 2024. He says the last time they had one was back in 2016. He hopes to focus on the east side of I-35, an area he says is falling behind on infrastructure.